Hi, this is Nick from Sunlight Media, and today we're going to go over some of the basics of getting started with the Vim text editor. Vim is a command line text editor found pre-installed on just about any Unix-based operating system, such as Mac OS or Linux. Due to the ubiquity and longevity of this text editor, it's an extremely useful skill for any developer to know, since it will be available on pretty much any Linux-based server. I recently posted a series of blog posts outlining some of the basic features of Vim, which you can find the link to in the description. Vim differs from other common text editors in that it has a variety of operation modes, only one of which is for standard input of text. The main mode, and the one that you will begin in when starting Vim, is referred to as normal mode. This mode does not allow input of text, but instead contains tons of useful commands that, that can replace operations you'd normally have to perform either with a mouse or context menus. Whether you are writing code, blog posts, or anything else, Learning these commands can drastically speed up your text editing, allowing you to focus on simply better writing. To start Vim, open up your terminal of choice and type Vim, either on its own to start a new file, or type Vim followed by the file name to open an existing file or name the new file. When you first enter Vim, it'll be in normal mode. I'm going to copy some text into the editor just so we have something to work with. To be able to input text, type the I key, which will switch Vim into input mode. Input mode functions essentially the same as any common text editor. Now that we have some text, hit the escape key to return to normal mode. Whenever you are unsure about what mode you are in, or if you think you made a mistake in entering a command and want to start over, simply hit the escape key. One of the first things to learn in Vim is navigation. While you can certainly use the arrow keys for navigation, there is a far more efficient way to move around. While in normal mode, the H, J, K, and L keys take the place of the arrow keys. H is to move the cursor left, J to move down, K to move up, and L to move right. The main benefit of using the H, J, K, and L keys instead of the arrows is that you don't have to move your hand. Keeping your hands on the home row of the keyboard, as it's commonly referred to, reduces friction and unnecessary hand movement. To extend navigation further, there are a few commands in normal mode that are very useful to know. If you'd like to move ahead a word, simply type W. You can type this as many times as you want to move the cursor to the word you want to edit, or you can prepend the W character with a number. Typing 2W will move the cursor ahead two words. 4w will move ahead four words, and so on. This will always place the cursor on the first character of the target word. If you're in the middle of a line and want to move back to the beginning, you can just type the number zero. Conversely, typing the dollar sign will move the cursor to the very end of the current line. What if you want to delete a word? Vim makes this very easy and is similar to the navigation commands. To delete the word your cursor is currently placed on, simply type DW. The delete command can also be prepended with a number to delete multiple words such as 3DW, to delete three words, 5DW, to delete five words, etc. In tandem with these basic navigation and editing commands, anytime you want to input actual text, you just need to hit the I key to return to input mode, then input your text, and then hit escape to return to normal mode again. As you get used to the feel of Vim, you'll find yourself staying in normal mode the majority of the time for navigation and editing, only entering input mode when necessary. Once you've made all your edits, to save a file you just need to type colon w then enter. This will write any changes to the file while still keeping it open. If you'd like to write to the file and then quit Vim, simply type colon wq followed by enter. We've just scratched the surface of what Vim is capable of, but in future tutorials we will dive deeper into more advanced features of this very powerful text editor. To find more tutorials and articles on web development, technology, and current internet trends, or to inquire about our web development and digital marketing services, please check us out at sunlightmedia.org.